So two different people made exactly the same decision, which is one of the reasons OpenStack came together, right? So yeah. I wrote a trade study for NASA saying um, what language should NASA adopt for web applications in general. Yeah. Uh, at the time, they had some couple of thousand, somewhere around 3,000 different web apps written in 18 different languages and frameworks. And just from a security standpoint, it was a nightmare to maintain. So I prepared a trade study, and I did a quantitative and qualitative analysis of six languages and I think nine frameworks, um, and came up with using Django and Python as the thing that was the most appropriate for NASA. Now, this wasn't a general purpose, Python is the best language. Yeah. This was based on regional availability resources at what price, um, compatibility with NASA's key ecosystem partners, internal expertise, external expertise, security footprint, a bunch of pieces. Um, but yeah, we made a pretty clear decision that Python was the right route forward. Um, and this was very early on, so we were on really the most new stable version of Python, which was 2.6. Rackspace made the same decision, but I have no idea what their criteria sure. was, except I think that they didn't want to do it in Ruby again. Yeah. Because they'd done slice host in Ruby and they were sure. something. Now what? Because Python 2x is being deprecated at some point, 3 is clearly the future, and there may or may not be some challenges. Uh, from where you sit, is is it a challenge? And we'll... So I'm also a member of the Python Software Foundation, as are a number hmm. of uh, OpenStack core developers and a number of board members. Yeah. Um, and that puts us in a very odd position because we now have uh, insight into where the Python community is trying to go in the transition to 3, um, and yet we're keenly aware of the challenges in moving the OpenStack code base in that direction. I mean, OpenStack is 1.2, sorry, one, one and a quarter million lines of code yeah. written in about two years. Um, so the logistics of getting people to write new code in Python 3 would not be that bad, but transforming the existing code to be 3.0 compliant is going to be tricky, particularly because we just went through an internationalization and localization effort. Yeah. Right, so, which is really where Python 3 is very different. Sure. To say, to say. For better or worse, the way the OpenStack Foundation is structured is there's three separate governance bodies. So there's the board who controls dollars, and they control the meaning of the word OpenStack, but we do not control any technical decisions. Technical decisions rest in the technical sure, committee. Sure. So the TC could look at this and say, okay, we're going to freeze as of this date, and new code's going to be Python compatible. Um, the second point in that is, is the use of the word freeze, uh, because we've had enough trouble just getting all of the various OpenStack projects to use OpenStack Common, called Oslo, sure. or things like whiskey middleware and logging. So getting to a point where we would all agree on, I mean, we don't even use necessarily the same whiskey framework in a lot of these projects. So yeah. It was the Twisted versus Vampire Wars yeah. of 2011. Um, so getting to a point where we'll all agree and say, okay, now is an okay time to freeze, that would be really hard because the community is still very much in this uh, new features all the time kind of ramp. Yeah. So I think there are a couple of projects that are now have hit the state of maturity where they'd be willing to say, okay, now actually we have the time and the breathing room to focus on revamps, um, shifts in architecture, improving documentation, improving runtime requirements, et cetera. Um, but I doubt we could do it across all of them. Um, should? Uh, just from your own personal perspective, should OpenStack move to Python 3, or can it and should it stay on a Python 2x base for the foreseeable future? New projects should be written in Python 3. No. Um, the work to port existing projects to Python 3 uh, should be undertaken, uh, but I think it should be time to happen at the point at which each of those projects become mature enough that the majority of their community can focus on that effort. Yeah. You know, that it's not in conflict with ongoing development. So I think Swift is already there. I think uh, Glance is probably already there. I think uh, Keystone may end up being rewritten again. It could be rewritten by Zone 3. Yeah. You know. um, Nova, I don't think we could slow down enough. But we're getting there. Cinder got refactored out. No yeah. network got refactored out. So Nova itself is becoming a little more boring. But I think we're probably still going to release away from having the time to do it. Got it. Good.